Hello. I am going to make this video about knowledge. When I was first prompted, prompted to make this video, my first thought of, well, if I'm going to talk about epistemology, and epistemology is the study and theory of knowledge, I have to make a video on what knowledge is. Now, many people think knowledge is just... Many people, when asked, say knowledge is what we know or um, something that is widely believed or something that is common sense. Well, that is not knowledge. Now, knowledge is a justified true belief. I'm going to say it again. A justified true belief. It is understood that for for something to be knowledge, you it has to be justified. It has to be something that is true and the person has to believe it. And I'm going to break down each one of those words. Now, when a person says justified, they mean that the way that the true belief was co collected was um, a way that is justified either through a first per either through a first person experience through um, evidence or through another trusted source with credibility. Now, true, true is pretty self-explanatory. True means that the thing that you are saying is knowledge is something that can is true. Like it can be debated. It is it is what exactly it is. So if I um, if I say I have five fingers, I, it is knowledge that I have five fingers. W one, two, three, four, five. You know that it is true because I'm showing you. Now, the belief portion of justified true belief is really the acceptance of the idea. Um, and a person is not able to say something is knowledge unless they believe it. If I know something, I also believe that it's true, that it is a justified true belief. When you combine all those words together, justified true belief, you also have... You could also say you have evidence for something that is a fact and you believe it. That's how it becomes knowledge. And that is the important part of epistemology. Once you are able to identify what is knowledge and that it is truly knowledge, then you are able to explore more parts like conspiracy theories and um, skepticism, all these things venture off from the first what is knowledge with the with the knowledge of what knowledge is you are able to um analyze what people believe is knowledge and also how what people think is knowledge actually isn't so I hope through this video, you have a better understanding of what is knowledge and what is not knowledge and how you could get more knowledge yourself. And remember, it is a justified, true belief.